So, you want to ghost grind, but you either don't have Fishing 26, or you simply are just too poor to invest in full Necron and a 200 million coin health. Well, this guide is perfect for you. Today, we are going to cover how much this setup costs, how to use it, and calculate how much money and combat XP we can get in one full hour. Before we start though, if you do find this guide helpful in any way, then consider subscribing as it will help me out a ton. And if you want to donate me any contraband to help fund these videos, as they cost quite a lot of money to make, then you can friend me game slash fat 23 olive oliver. Now, on to the video. Okay, so you want to kill ghosts, right? So to begin with, let's discuss the armor we'll be using. I'll be using full mastiff with basic enchants such as growth, protection, stuff like that, to get the most amount of HP as possible. You might be asking yourself that Mastiff actually cuts your crit damage by half, but we'll talk about a method to avoid this later, and go steal true damage of some sort, meaning I can jump down into the pit and literally nothing will kill me. Next let's discuss the weapons, well actually there's only one weapon, and it's stupidly cheap. This is the Shaman Sword, it only costs 200k and it works hand in hand with Mastiff, and I could do an unimaginable 250k hit to Ghost, and they only have 1 million HP. But if you do get less damage than me, then try to buy a pooch sword as it increases the rarity and just in general increases the damage and strength on it. For the pet, we will be using a Mithril Golem. Preferably a high level, about level 80 plus ish, and I spent about 2.5 million coins to get this one. All you need to do is also put a Crochet Tiger plushie on it as attack speed is really OP for what we're about to do. For my magical power reforge, I will be using the Magma Urchin, however I don't believe this is quite necessary. And if you don't have it, then that's fine, because you can also use a Luxurious Sport or a Beating Heart one. Both work really well, and the Beating Heart gives a much more attack speed, and actually has more than any other Reforged Stone. Also, if you have a handy Blood Chunder to toggle it on for 20% more Ferocity, as it will basically just increase your damage by 20%. Now, one great thing I think you all really actually need to know about this setup, it's about its cost to revenue ratio. Yes, I know this is only Skyblock, but no one really talks about it, and I think it's really quite important. Because let's say you bought a typical good mining setup, and you mine gemstones for 20 mil an hour. Yes, that's really good, but you also spent 2 billion coins on the setup itself. This means that every time you get that 20 mil an hour, that's good, but you need to spend about 100 hours just to pay that setup back in the first place. Everything after the first 100 hours, in that case I would consider profit, but everything before I would consider it as revenue. Regardless, this setup only costs us 5.2 million coins, and we can definitely pay that back within probably just an hour or two. Speaking of paying it back, I'm going to show a little time lapse of me doing 10 minutes of ghost grinding with this setup, and let's see how much money we make and combat XP we gain. So, as you can see, we got one sorrow, a few plasma, and a falter. We also got 50k combat XP and 90k coins from Scavenger. And now let's multiply all of this by 6 and get how much we would make in a single hour. We would make 3.5 million coins an hour. And remember, when I said this setup only costs 5.2 million, well, we could actually pay that back and have some extra left over in just 2 hours. Which I think is pretty insane, and that's really the main reason why I made this video. It's super beginner friendly, and it's also pretty mindless as long as you don't mind clicking a bunch and getting carpal tunnel, but you'll literally never die, like, you can mark my word. Of course, you are going to need Dwarf Slayer 4 to do this, but I presume you probably already have that since, you know, you realistically know what the Dwarf Mines is. The more magic find you get, the better drops you'll get, and the best way to do this, honestly, is just levelling up the Ghost Grinding Bestiary for more drops. From that, you can get more coins per hour and more combat XP. And you can be looking at 4 million coins per hour, which is solid for this kind of budget. Anyways, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, then why not subscribe? It's free and helps me out a ton. If you have any questions, comment them down below. I will always reply and I will always see them and I will try to help you to the best of my abilities. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed rest of your days and I will see you all soon. Bye! Thank you.